competitive, I exceptionally so. I, I think it comes uh, from my childhood, always competing to impress my mother, uh, that there was me, the youngest, and my sister and my brother. Now, my mother was fierce. Uh, Don, everybody knew you would live to regret it if you fucked around with Sue. And, and we were all desperate for Sue to love us the most. But, but this post went to our brother. I mean, he'd already won. Sue had always said, Mothers have a special relationship with their sons. <laughs> we accepted this as fact. But this meant that second place was up for grabs and I would not be beaten by my sister, little slag. Round one. The family holiday to Spain. My sister was 14 and we were neck and neck in the game. But then came along David, a Welsh hunk of a boy who led her astray. And to my joy, one night, as I'd been tactfully sat in with Sue, my sister swanned into the hotel room and on the side of her neck shone a huge love bite. Oh, my sister had stumbled and I smiled with delight, the excitement overwhelming as I saw L Sue's lip curl. She said, you've brought shame on this family, girl. <laughs> ah! I was so excited as the tears ran down my sister's face for I knew right then that I was second place, round two. <laughs> round Two. It was very exciting. I was a teenage perfection for, throughout my youth in every way and until I, I turned 16 and I met a man called Jay. <laughs> now, Jay was uh, 23, <laughs> winning. I was impressed. I mean, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't very attractive and, uh, or, or intelligent, and he had this horrendous tattoo. But I digress. He was a man. A man had asked me out, and it was, it was very romantic when we got to his, to his parents' house. And, and because I was, I was so excited, I was able to ignore the, the photos of his ex-girlfriend just hanging on the wall. And, and then I spotted a mature porn magazine as he laid me down on the cushion. Well, this was confirmation for me that I was a mature one. Finally, it was going to happen. I was going to have the sex. And I lay there waiting as he began to kiss my neck again and again and again. And then in my mind, I saw Sue's lip curl and say, you're going to bring shame on this family girl. Stop! I cried. Have you given me a love bite? And he looked into my eyes and he said, yeah, it looks all right. <laughs> no! How could this happen now? I was going to lose the competition to my sister, little cow. I ran home and up the stairs I walked. But Sue, she spotted it, eyes like a fucking hawk. And my world came crashing down as her, her lip began to curl. She said, you brought shame on this family, girl. Oh, God, I looked in the mirror and I saw blues and purples and reds, the branding of a failure, the certain kiss of death. Shit! How could I be so thick and lose the competition to my sister, little bitch? But then I stopped and I smiled as I saw the curling tongue. Oh, the competition wasn't over. It had only just begun. So I turned it on. And I held it to my skin. Not thinking of the pain, just thinking of the win. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> I went down the stairs and I said, so, you judged me wrong. For I have accidentally burned myself on the calling tongues. And I stood there with pride as Sue's heart began to melt. She said, I am ashamed. But this time, of myself. <laughs> Call me a love. And I felt that silver medal as I held her warm embrace, for I knew I was winning in second place. 